This is Charles Marvin Green Jr., also known to millions of adoring subscribers as Angry Grandpa. Originally created in 2007, the Angry Grandpa YouTube channel would basically show a series of videos of pranks or stunts created by his son, Michael Green, who has his own channel, Kid Behind a Camera. Now in these videos, which have garnered tens of millions of views, they would do everything from breaking his son's PlayStation up to getting a tattoo with a biohazard symbol that says my you know what stinks. Now of course, there's always hearsay about whether the angry grandpa's videos were real or actually scripted. Whether the case may be, one thing is for sure, and that is that for many years, the Angry Grandpa has provided entertainment to the masses and also made you possibly think to yourself, hey, I guess my family ain't so dysfunctional after all. Sadly, Charles passed away on December 10th of 2017 from cirrhosis of the liver. He was 67 years old. But let's not grieve out of sorrow, but celebrate the life of the angry grandpa and think of all the good times and the moments in our lives that but just for a brief moment in time, however bad our day was, we could sit back, relax with a cold beer and just for a few moments forget about our problems and laugh our worries away watching the antics of the angry grandpa. Right now we're at the Live Oak Memorial Garden cemetery and this is where angry grandpa's father charles green was laid to rest uh, he died in 1987 from complications from his accident and in the vlog michael had came out here to uh, bring his dad's ashes to visit his grandpa and he had said in the video that he had never met his granddad and he is buried right here this is where the ashes were placed right there so he could be with his grandpa Sergeant, U.S. Army, World War II, thank you for your service, sir. Now we are at the Harmony Baptist Church here in Gaston, South Carolina. We're right outside of Columbia. And uh, this is where the angry grandpa's mother Miss Dorothy Green is buried, and I remember a long time ago watching that video of the angry grandpa coming to visit his mother's grave. And I had uh, never seen him cry like that. It was uh, something else to say the least, and I believe his son was also crying in the video. And he was recanting the story of when she died she died on christmas morning and instead of them opening up presents and you know eating and drinking and fighting and cussing or whatever it is that they wanted to do to show the affectionate side of their family they had to call the coroner's office and take down the Christmas tree because that year would there would be no Christmas uh, that was a very very sad video and as his son was recording r right there you can see angry grandpa uh, walking from over here yonder and he walked to this grave right here covered in the rocks and I remember he put a rose on the grave and he just he just collapsed right here yeah uh, that's a very tough video to watch you guys should go watch it I'll put it in the description box 
you know, you watch a grown man crying like a little five-year-old boy. But, uh, you know, that would bring any man down to his knees and to, uh, you know, visit the grave of the mother who bore him life, his life giver. December 25th, 1999. Rest in peace, Miss Dorothy Green. Okay, guys, we have one more stop to make. We got to drive back down to Somerville to conclude this video the only way that I can. Okay, well, that concludes the video. That is about all there is to show. Now, you're probably wondering why I did not visit Angry Grandpa's grave, and that is because the simple answer is he doesn't have one. He was cremated and his ashes were split amongst uh, his children. But I just want to end this video by saying this. I know a lot of people that watch my channel probably would think that maybe, um, you know, Angry Grandpa's humor, if you would to see it, that, that it would be crude and rude, obnoxious. Uh, some would even say uh, distasteful, and a few of you might even say disgusting. But uh, that's the kind of humor that I enjoy myself. Um, I know this channel could be uh, quite serious and is very serious but when I laugh I laugh at the most uh, inane jokes jokes that others would deem they go too far uh, stand-up comedy stand-up comics and just humor in itself is part of the uh, right to free speech and that is something that we are slowly losing in this country so we must be very mindful that even though we hear speech that we may not like other people have the right to say it whether they're being funny whether they're even being hateful. Your opinion is your opinion, and your opinion was shaped by, you know, people that raised you and your surrounding environment. And sometimes that's good, and sometimes that's bad, but we must never relinquish, again, our right to say how we feel, uh, even though that might uh, come at the displeasure of others. So, enough about that. I'm in here looking up stories. Enjoying a nice cold IPA. I don't think Angry Grandpa would like these beers, but uh, they hit the spot. Uh, a little bit hoppy, but what are you going to do? And no, this is not a sponsored video. Anyways, guys, sweltering in my trailer in this hot, humid, oppressive heat. In an unknown state, in an unknown part of the country, I am Lamont at large. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, guys. God bless. And uh, go check out Angry Grandpa. Go check out his videos. They're hilarious. Well, at least I think they are. Peace.